Welcome. It's been a very quiet couple of months on the sun recently, and it's prompted many people to ask, are we at solar minimum yet? This video explores that question. Perhaps we should first discuss what solar minimum actually is. It's the lowest point in the smooth sunspot number between two adjacent solar maxima. The smooth sunspot number is generally smooth over a 12 or 13 month period. I generally prefer the 13 month version. And thus you cannot know when solar maximum actually was until at least seven months after. And if you're wise, you wait for at least a year in case the sunspot numbers go back down again. So what are the most obvious characteristics of solar minimum? Well, obviously there have to be few or no sunspots for long periods of time. The sunspot groups themselves are small and short lived. There's a mixture of old and new cycle regions on the sun. The old cycles appearing somewhere near the solar equator and the new cycle regions at high latitudes, say above 30 degrees. And also if you look at the outer corona of the sun, it has a relatively simple structure. As I said earlier, we've had a very quiet three months on the sun. Here are the sunspot numbers for June, July and August. I've marked here in blue the regions that appeared in the northern hemisphere and in orange the regions that appeared in the southern hemisphere. And a very interesting pattern emerges when you uh, add to this plot which type of sunspots they were, whether they were old cycle or new cycle. I've marked cycle 24 regions with red here and cycle 25 regions with green. As you can see all the groups in the northern hemisphere are old cycle, solar cycle 24 regions. In the Southern Hemisphere, two of the three regions are new cycle regions. So I'd argue that the Northern Hemisphere is still in its old cycle, solar cycle 24 decay, whereas the Southern Hemisphere is beginning the transition from the old cycle to the new cycle. However, it's not until both hemispheres have got into this transition phase that we uh, start the new cycle in earnest. During this time, the average sunspot number has been 0.9 sunspots per day, which is very much consistent with low values from previous solar minima. So now I'm going to show you some movies of what's going on on the sun over this last three month period. I'm going to show you as magnetograms rather than sunspot pictures, because it's actually clearer to see the magnetic fields in the magnetograms than it is in the sunspots. You may well miss them when the movie is moving this fast. You can see the uh, regions. Dark here is negative polarity, light is positive polarity. When dark is leading in the northern hemisphere, that is old cycle, and obviously white in the southern hemisphere. And when uh, dark is leading in the southern hemisphere, that's new cycle, and obviously light in the northern hemisphere. And you'll see there are some of these small bipolar regions appear periodically. Uh, but they, they very rapidly have gone away. So these are very short-lived regions. Not all of them necessarily produce sunspots. Next I'm going to show you a movie of the solar corona taken at about a million degrees. That's in the AIA channel 193 for the three months. Now the thing to look here for is one, that there are no major flares. Two, these dark areas on the sun. You can see one at the North Pole and one at the South Pole, but there's sometimes some of them are near the equator. Those are trans-equatorial coronal holes and are often responsible for the geomagnetic storms that we've seen over the last three months. You'll notice there are a large number of X-ray bright points on this image. Uh, those are tiny little bipoles, and some of the larger ones are those active regions that I've pointed out in the magnetogram before.
Lastly, I'm going to show you a movie of the uh, coronagraph that is from Lascaux on Soho. And here you can see in the center of the sun there is a, uh, um, a very simple straight east-west alignment of the corona stretching out several solar radii. And that's very typical of solar minimum. Now, the thing to watch for here is how many coronal mass ejections there are. Those would be explosions off the right and left limb, like there and there. Uh, those are relatively few at this time of the, the solar cycle, but they're not absence. There's another one. And so that's uh, a very important uh, uh, thing as far as Earth's concerned, because that too can cause uh, geomagnetic storms. That bright object coming in is Venus, passing behind the Sun. And there was a comet coming into the Sun right there from the southwest. So a lot going on but nothing particularly spectacular like you would expect at solar maximum. There's been a lot of talk about a grand solar minimum and how this low uh, in the solar minimum is so much lower than anything we've seen before. It must mean we're going into one of those things. Well, let's actually compare what the level of activity is currently with what it was back in 2008. This is the total solar radiance measured by source. And I'll put a line underneath the level of the solar minimum back in 2008, just at the base of it. Now we run that line across the page. You can see that we're well above that level uh, currently. At the moment, we're about 0.2 watts per meter squared above that level, which is actually quite a lot in terms of solar irradiance. And so consequently, I would say that this solar minimum, at least so far, is a lot more active and a lot more energy coming from the sun than the, the last solar minimum. So that would argue against those that say this is an indication of an upcoming grand solar minimum. So let's draw some conclusions from all of this. The northern hemisphere of the sun is still in its decline phase from solar cycle 24, whereas the southern hemisphere is in its transition phase between the two of them. We won't get the onset of solar cycle 25 until both of the hemispheres have passed through this transition phase. So we're not at solar minimum as yet. There's also no signs looking at the total solar radiance measurements of a grand solar minimum being on its way anytime soon. So until next time, goodbye.